Westminster alum Dr. Dorothy Pollock, who was a member of the class of 1946, a completely different era in Westminster history, an era in which the entire Westminster campus was only half its current size. The big change is, when I was in college, the, the whole campus was the quadrangle. There was nothing beyond the quadrangle. Old Main, Brown Hall, Old 77, Ferguson, Library, and so forth. All beyond that was fields with cows and so forth. So the marvelous building that has happened in these years is just, just wonderful. So with no dormitories past the creek to live in, where did the guys stay? Well, they stayed in Hillside and Jeffers and fraternity houses. We didn't have as many students then either as we do have now. We didn't have Russell and we didn't have uh, Eichenauer when I was here. A, a lot of houses in town. Students stayed in a lot of houses in town in those days. And as many college students do today, Pollock filled her time with plenty of extracurricular activities. Well, I was involved with about everything when I was on campus except back in those days um, there wasn't nearly as much as there is now. Uh, you can't compare 60 years ago with, uh, with what it is now. But I was involved in all the organizations on campus and in some of the athletics. I remember we had intramural um, volleyball and field hockey. I can remember, I think those were the only two sports I was involved in. graduated over 60 years ago before a homecoming parade even existed. No, they didn't have parades then. Remember, this was part of my time in college was during the war time. So things were very much pulled back. Pollock was also an active sorority girl. Originally a Beta Sigma Omicron, Pollock became a sister of Zeta Tau Alpha once the sororities merged. But unlike today, the sisters had a little more independence. My fourth year was the first year for sorority houses. And I was a president of Beta Sigma Omicron at that time. And so I lived in the sorority house, which was where McKelvey is now. <laughs> it isn't anymore. The sororities were six sororities, and they each had a house in town, very few of which are still here. With both fraternity and sorority houses on campus, going home was barely an option. Well, that and the lack of transportation. We didn't have cars then, of course. Nobody had a car. So uh, you stayed on campus, or you took a bus someplace. But cars and sorority houses weren't the only big differences. Imagine going to school for the price of your current meal plan. My tuition was $125 a semester, and my room and board was $165 a semester. And I got the biggest scholarship there was, and that was $100 my freshman year, and $50 my sophomore year, and $50 my junior year. And that was the difference in me being able to get started, because my folks didn't have a lot of money. See, that, that $100 almost paid my tuition for my first semester. But for that couple hundred dollars, Pollock got the education of a lifetime. I've just met so many wonderful people connected with Westminster. And the thing, no matter where you go, you haven't gotten to that point yet. No matter where you go, you run into somebody from Westminster. And it's just like you haven't been apart. You know, there's just a bond that, that grows. You can't explain it. It's just a bond that Westminster people have, that they have such a good time together. It's a great school. It really is. I'm Scott Lawrence reporting for Titan Radio News.